Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these squirt gun water paintings. So first, we need to lay down what we want underneath all of that paint. So I decided that it would be cute to write out stay cool with this cute popsicle. So I drew that out on my contact paper and now I'm cutting it out to stick down in the center. Now that that's stuck down, I'm going to stick down my letters. Now when we were filming this tutorial, we ran out of sticker letters like the ones in your kit, so ours are a little bit old, so they didn't stick down as nice as I wanted them to. But make sure while you're sticking your letters down, you kind of use one to space out all of the others as you go. Um, I found that doing the center two letters first helped me make sure the rest of the word was centered over top of that popsicle, especially on a curve. Now that we have our isolated sections, we can start with the paint. So with barely any water at the bottom, you want to squirt about a dime size amount of paint into the bottom and then mix it all together. More paint equals a darker color and is a little bit harder to spray and more water means that you have to spray it a lot more times before you get color. So then I just started kind of spraying it around in random spots um, because I knew there were two other colors to mix in. Now I started with my orange and this one I added a little bit more water to so it had a cooler spray look. So I pull it closer in some areas to make it darker, and then I just kind of sprayed it where I thought it looked cool. Next for our squirt gun, we're going to mix water with our paint again, but now in this water bottle. Kind of swirl it all around, make sure all the paint's incorporated. And now using our pipette. This was a little bit tricky, but we need to squirt all of this paint water into the gun. I loved the effect that this paint had on here. It felt so cool and summery, but also like something we've never seen before. Now I kind of moved the watery paint around to make more of a swirly effect. Now you can take your stickers off. As I said before, our stickers were kind of old, so the stick didn't really isolate the color as much as we wanted to, but I kind of liked the effect that it gave. It made the words almost look frozen and icy. Next, I used a Sharpie to kind of isolate these letters a little bit more and make them pop. So I just traced underneath all of their shadows um, that they would naturally have if they were a 3D object. And I kind of continued that all the way through. I really wanted to make it look like they were popping off of this canvas. Now I decided to add that black back into this adorable little popsicle to give it more of a popsicle look than just a silhouette. Now 
and I decided to add some cute little rays across just to finish the circle around that popsicle and make it feel all sunny and summery. And with that, I was finished. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Thank you guys for watching.